I'm about to power on this surplus Dometic thermoelectric cooler. Um, I powered it on before and it had a bad alarm. Um, I don't know if that'll cut out because it gets fully chilled or if it's some kind of internal fault or maybe there's a battery backup that's looked like it might have been installed in there that's not anymore and maybe it's an alarm for that so what's cool about it is it's meant to run off of any world electricity um, the 220 to 240 that's like uh, European 110 to 120 that's like the United States um, and then down or up here which is what I was after why is it not oh you ready okay right here it's 12 to 24 volts DC that's the one I wanted um, unfortunately it didn't come with that um, plug and it does come with a positive and negative so if I open it up I'll, I'll probably be able to reverse engineer a plug and do it like that but um, just for now though we'll turn it on to document the um, the, uh, the situation there's fuses right there and call it Dometic Thermal Stabilizer. These are the controls, alarm reset, power, some other things. This is for an external monitoring device. Like that. I'll go ahead and open it up to show you what it is, just in case it catches on fire and melts or something, then you won't be able to find, see it anyway. There. So what are these used for? Um, they're used for transporting blood and vaccines and other medical um, medical devices to the battlefield and back. And um, a lot of people are trying to get a hold of these. They use them for beer coolers or whatever. I'm trying to go totally DC and um, that's why I got it. But unfortunately, I think I've got a lemon, or at least something needs some work. So, okay, we'll turn it on and hopefully it doesn't smoke. And have it plugged in to this, and, and this will help me uh, here start smoking. It's on off right now, so I'll turn that on and then I'll show you the plug too. Um, that was a major hassle to figure out plugs. Now the military loves proprietary plugs. I think of a pain in the you know what. That's a US plug. See? And uh there's more connectors there. Probably for that 220 to 240. Because you see only you only see three connectors in there. For this US one. So, um, so yeah, the proprietary stuff, I think it's a pain in the butt because uh, you get situations like this where stuff is surplus and you don't have the proper connectors for it and you gotta reverse engineer, engineer something that's not as good as the original equipment. So, it's just a headache. I don't, you run into it so much with military surplus and so all right cross my fingers ready there's power
So I don't know if you see the fans going. This was buzzing before. Really loud. Right now you got a warning signal. So the seller, I bought it off eBay. The seller said it was pushing cool air out. Oh, it is. It smells weird. I wonder if that's. What it should be smelling like. It doesn't smell like burnt electrical yet. Alright, we'll let it do its thing. Yeah, I don't like that. It's on the porch here, so I thought I saw smoke, but it's just a, a shiny theme reflecting. So yeah. Uh oh. That's not good. I would think that would be a out of spec alarm more than anything. I never found any manuals for this online. And the Dometic support website does not list this as a product. It keeps smelling for a burn. But it's hot here out on the porch, so the plastic's off gassing or something. I haven't blown any fleet fuses yet, so that's a good sign. Now, I'm not hitting alarm reset because last time I did that, I didn't do anything. I didn't just re-trigger. Well, this is supposed to be soldier proof, so okay, we'll hit it. kind of reset it somehow. In fact, it's quiet. Could that have done something good for it? That clicking was probably a busted alarm because before it was like, me, 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 me. It was pretty irritating. This is more like something I'd expect, where it's like, okay, it's red because it's not cold. It means your blood or your vaccines are going to be in danger. But yeah, it's still trying to cool. And what I pay for this, I paid uh, $200 and like 120 shipping or so. Okay, that's the end of the video. I was expecting arcing and sparking, but... This is Military Industrial Museum. Uh, if you're not subscribed by now, you're wrong. Alright, have a good one.